Hello, my name is Julie from So Unique and I will pop all the links down below where you can find me on social media. Well, welcome to everyone to episode 69 and I hope everybody's had a good week. I hope you've managed to get some crafting done this week. I've had a pretty busy week with one thing and another. Um, I've been doing a memory bear for somebody which is going to be collected tomorrow. So I will put that little bit in at the end because I did a little clip at the shop and showing you the bear and everything. So that'll be at the end. Um, I've been doing some stitching on my tree. I've been working on Bobby the Chick. <laughs> but mine's, I'm going to say mine's, mine's coming on nicely. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. And um, what else have I been doing? Oh, I've been doing some machine embroidery. So you will see that. And... I think that's it actually yeah <laughs> I think that's it so I've not long got in from work and you'll probably have noticed that my upload days have changed to Thursday which because I have my grandson on a Monday and a Wednesday I'm finding that Tuesday when I am at home I'm catching up then from what I couldn't do on the Monday so I'm good. <laughs> otherwise it's just too much of a rush for me. So I decided for the time being I'm going to upload on a Thursday, which is a lot better for me at the moment. So I'm just enjoying a nice cup of tea while I chat to you. So I'll just have a sip of tea. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Well, the first thing I'm going to share with you is the machine embroidery that I've been doing. And that was for my granddaughter. So I got that all finished for her. And she had it on Saturday. Well, they both had the presents on Saturday. And we went to their house and had like a, a party, which was really, really nice. And they've all settled in in their new home. And Milo now has got like a pen that he's got in the living room where he's got his food, his water, he's got a mat down, he's got a bed, he's got his toys. And he could jump out of it if he wanted to, if he really, really wanted to. But it is a bit of a struggle for him. But it keeps him contained, which is, which is good. I feel sorry for him in, in one respect, because he's used to being able to run around and get lots of fusses. But when you're trying to eat or you're trying to do something, he's constantly jumping up you know so you can we could actually sort of have a chair and sit next to him and give him a fuss and he was quite happy with that still a bit needy but it was really nice I must admit it was really nice and you can see all the family then daddy's there for him and his mum so you can see them everybody and he's quite happy he did settle down and have a little nap and that so yeah so that was really nice and the girls enjoyed their birthday presents, especially the youngest one with a Spider-Man. Uh, so yeah, it embroidered out beautifully. I was really pleased with it. So that is the next clip that you're going to see. So I will be back in a few seconds.
hope you enjoyed seeing that because like I said it was a beautiful stitch out and she loved it it, it went on straight away <laughs> and uh, it didn't come off after that so which was good I'm really really pleased that she liked it and I think what I might do is I was talking to like mum and dad and for the children I thought for Easter they can still have their Easter eggs and everything like they normally have and as they've got their own bathroom uh, I thought I might do them a towel each with some design that they like because obviously I know the youngest granddaughter likes Spider-Man so she could have that and then the other granddaughter could have a stitch I can get a stitch design off Etsy probably <clears throat> so she'll be happy with that and then my grandson can pick a design what he likes and I just thought it would be a nice touch for their bathroom for them to have a personalised towel which I thought would be a good idea so yeah so I'm looking forward to doing that so it'll keep, certainly keep me busy for a bit hmm. oh. oh I just needed that cup of tea <laughs> it's been a busy day today at work non-stop and it's been a busy week right well I have got Bobby the chick in my little goosey bag. Ah, I'll make notes. <laughs> oh dear, I've got bits of paper everywhere. Well, there's Bobby. Now, I must admit, when I've been doing Bobby, oh, some of, I, these little pieces up on his head, there is no way I am going to be able to do that. I don't think my, <laughs> my fingers are going to cope with that. I like going in the round as long as I can get my fingers in to hold it but to do the little hair pieces there's no chance so Bobby's going from a boy to a girl <laughs> all right well this is as far as I've got I've got his beak on which I only just managed to do that but it, at least it's wider at the back end and I can get my fingers in so I could hold it and um, the shell is done it's all stitched on and it's got a little frilly edge around it now the only problem I have is I've got a bit of a neck on mine <laughs> now the neck should be there but I should have had more stitches on and for some reason when I decreased around the neck and then started to increase I didn't have the right amount of stitches and I don't know why but I thought never mind I'm not going to unpick it because I, I found sort of doing around the neck area it was a it was a faff for me to get my fingers in it's only because I've got a bad hand my thumb's hurting and yeah so but I think he's going to look all right when he's got his wings on now I've managed to get one wing done now as you can see that's narrow at the top and I did struggle with that a little bit as well but even though he's got a bit of a narrow neck he's not floppy Oops. and his little wing actually sits on there lovely if you just look at that side so I think he looks very very cute okay he's got a but he's stretching I'm just thinking he's stretching to have a little look so but I have I've played yarn chicken and I have basically run out of yarn I had a six inch piece left after I'd done this so not a lot left so I am gonna have to order another ball of this yarn but I think I'm, I'm probably going to have to wait until I've made a list of um, some of the embroidery threads that I need so I can get it all in one place otherwise I'm paying postage probably about three pound of just for a small ball of yarn for him so I might as well wait until I can do a little bit of shopping but I thought what I might do is put him a little ribbon round it's not him it's a her put a little bit of ribbon round the neck so she looks pretty and then I was thinking of putting her a little a little ribbon or a bow in her hair I don't know oh I have got one here I'm not sure which colour to use but I've got to make her look girly I'm just going to get a pin then I can pin it on then you can see and then you could help me choose actually which, which colour well, I'm going to I'm just going to pin the wing wing off Good job I've got some pins sat here. Right. I'll just pop this on. So 
that. That's what she looks like with a yellow one on. Now I'm going to put the other one on, which is a a green one. So I'm not sure which one to pick at the minute. And the green one probably stands out a little bit more. But I think that just makes her look a little bit more good. <laughs> so, what do you think? Green or yellow? I don't think I've got any white ones or anything. I think I've only got these colours in blue and red. So, help me make a decision, please. <laughs> but I have to say, I have enjoyed making her. And hopefully next week I'll get the feet done because the feet are done in the same shade as the nose. And I'll see if I can get some more yarn and get on with that wing for next week. But we'll see. We'll see. For the time being now, she's going to go back in her bag. And I'm going to store that <laughs> back in the living room. Because I'd actually like to get on with them. Um, the pumpkin cross stitch I'd like to make a start on that um, but I've still got some sewing to do for next week well a commission and I did say it probably be about a fortnight before it's finished um, and that's going to be uh, a memory uh, bed runner so I need to get on with that which I'm going to start tomorrow I'm having tonight off so I can have a little break <laughs> mm. oh I've just got to keep an eye on the time because my grandson will be here very very shortly right well the next thing i'm going to share with you in my bag are my christmas trees now i only managed to sit down to do some of this on sunday um and i had the house to myself it was really really nice everybody was out and i had peace and quiet and i just put the telly on and what was i watching now Oh, I think I was watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer <laughs> and I just sat there and I just quietly stitched and it was really really nice so I finished off that little tray with the um, French knots on and then I did these three down here um, I think all I've got to do on this one is put some little berries on and I've, been, I've thoroughly, I'm, well, I'm thoroughly enjoying this all totally. Now this one here, that's that's what I think is the hardest one because that's a turkey stitch, but it looks like it's all fringed. So I'm not really sure. I've seen how to do the turkey stitch, like I've said before, but not like this. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one at the minute. That's probably going to be the last one that I'm going to do. So I'm hoping that... Uh, maybe this Sunday or one evening I'll get a chance to settle down and do a little bit more because we're not going out at the weekend. The only thing I think we'll be doing is maybe going to the, <laughs> the dump with some rubbish, but that'll be about it. So yeah, so this is why I want to start my, my cross stitch now because um, we're getting close to the finish for this. So, you know, I can't wait now. <laughs> I can't wait. Really looking forward to... Uh, having a bit of time for that i don't know i've got all these loose threads getting stuck in my bag my bag's covered in loose threads <laughs> uh, i don't know being a widow Ooh. oh goodness well what, what am i doing now once i finish filming i'm going to go and start and do uh, some chicken for my grandson and get the potatoes ready because he's having teriyaki chicken I think it is to, no not teriyaki not teriyaki oh gosh what's it called Cajun Cajun chicken tonight we're doing and I'm going to be cooking the chicken up for some meals for for the freezer as well um, and then I think the next job what I will share with you is I've got some seed potatoes so I'm going to chip them so this will be the first time I've ever done this. So I'm hoping, I hope I get it right. So I will share that little bit of process with you. So I think that's probably all I've got to share with you this week. 
I haven't really done anything yet. I have been out. I mean, like I said, I've been out for the party at uh, my son and daughter-in-law's house. And the only other thing is I've been to Costco. <laughs> it's only shopping, so that's not very exciting, is it, to share with you? Uh, so, yeah, we went there. We actually had something to eat while we were there and a drink, which was really nice. And I had a good look round at uh, the bulk items. I bought three big packs of cheese, various kinds in like mature cheddar cheeses that we'd never had before so i got some slices um a block of cheese that's um it's a welsh cheese it's i think it's called collier so that sounds nice and it smelled quite strong and what else did i get oh i got a round one a black one oh gosh i can't think of the name now i know you can get it from like cheese shops like places like buxton and things like that because um they had some of the cheese. My son and daughter and I had got some of this cheese at the birthday party on Saturday and it was really, really nice. Strong, lovely. And oh, I said to Kevin, I said, that is going to be perfect for occasional Sunday morning breakfast where we have cheese on toast and uh, a nice pickle. So the fig, fig, fig chutney, I should say, will be absolutely perfect for that so we're looking forward to that so when i got back um i bagged all the slices up chopped the block of cheese up and uh chopped the other one up as well so i vacuum packed everything and that all went in the freezer so i've got plenty of cheese plenty of butter in the freezer now so i am well stocked <laughs> well stocked uh so that's probably been about it yeah yeah that's that's all i've done this week i seem to have been on the go all week um, like doing things for other people and embroidering and getting a bit of sewing, bit of, bit of crochet in and that's probably about it really. So I'm going to have a relaxing evening tonight. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm going to have a relaxing evening, a night off and just do something for myself. <laughs> I have actually started reading um, The Dinner Lady Detectives, that book book I had from dawn out of my Christmas box so I've started reading that I've gone to bed a little bit earlier on a couple of nights and I've had half an hour read and I'm really enjoying it so I think what I'll do is I will share the book with you um, next week just in case you don't remember which one it is so I'm going to love you and leave you now I'm going to share the potato chitting with you <laughs> And uh, yeah, I will see you all again next week. So thank you for joining me this week. And I hope everybody has a lovely week. And I hope everybody stays safe with this wind because it is really bad out there. Part of the fence in our back gardens come down. Um, it's not our fence, it's next door's fence, but it's got like 12 strips of wood and the top one's blown off, so that's in the bed. So that, that needs putting back up. But uh, yes, yeah, so and on the other side, I've got a massive... I think it's a 10 foot trampoline and they've t I think they must have turned it upside down so at the minute it's not moved out of its position and I hope it stays there because I think that'll take the fences out <laughs> of all the gardens if that gets uh, caught with the wind so enough of that I'm rambling now take care everyone have a good week happy crafting and I will see you all again soon bye for now and I thought I'd just share with you what I've actually been doing this week. Now, I have made a memory bear for a customer. And this is a granddad one. Uh, and the design on the front says, I am Grumps. So that's um, a big desire to put on a shirt, but she wanted it on, so I've just managed to do it. And then the foot pads are some handkerchiefs. And the back is a different shirt and he will sit on the table and as you can see he's got two button eyes. I used to put safety eyes in but I think they're a bit big and bulky because the fabric's only thin and you can feel the, the washer poking through so I stopped using safety eyes and put buttons on with my strong sled. So yeah that's what I've been up to this week. I will pop a few pictures in of him so you can get a better look but he's very very cute and hopefully the lady will come and pick him up soon and 
have made a few memory bears before and uh, yeah it gets a bit emotional when they come in to pick the bears up because lots of tears <laughs> but um, I don't know we've, we, I deal with it best I can <laughs> I don't want to be in tears with the customer but uh, yeah it does get a bit emotional yeah so that's what I've been doing